we're finally here podcasting for you if you know the words you can join in too put your hands together if you want to clap as we take you through our werewolf tap huh. it's just around the black uh, no. I don't even know what the fuck that song here. We're trying to do a run DNC if it's not going to work. Oh. Here, anybody, uh, welcome to the world. I was doing the DK thing, actually, the DK rap. <laughs> Although, I guess you could say, like, run DMC. That would be interesting. Yeah. Maybe mashuppers out there. We're, yeah, we're doing it live on the YouTubes, baby. Yeah, it's the wolf tap. Tap, 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 tap. What is trick? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 4, Who Survived the Deadly Game 2? You should be able to see the tournament brackets. I don't know if I have any other um, images for this right now. Because I kind of blew through this um, because I was away for the most of, and of course a lot of planning stuff for, well, you get a lot of feedback, you might want to fix that, or maybe I can move back or something. Maybe turn down your speakers or something. Because I'm getting like mad feedback from you. Okay. But anyway, um, stream health went orange. Sorry. Yeah, kind of doing this for the first time. You might have seen like a like a week or two ago, where it was like an emergency test if there were no broadcast system. But yeah, I did it because I was like super away for um Thanksgiving, and I just got back like Friday. I didn't have time to watch. Like I just watched NXT. It was gonna. It was about to start once I had like maybe like the first half hour of SmackDown already done, and I was like trying to get through it. So. I rescheduled for tomorrow because apparently Vexper hadn't seen any of it either we're still missing out on him I already informed him so as always fashionably late the forever fashionably late Vexper yeah hey, my name's Big Vex <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't PM on that but anyway uh, how'd your Thanksgiving go Maryland it went pretty good but you, do, I... you do anything special uh, not much just ate I think we got one person on here. Welcome, welcome. Get that going on. I don't know if the which I call over here. Just keep that open just in case. Yeah, kind of playing it by ear. I don't even have the. I started too early. I don't even have the what you call it open. Uh, let's see. I can't see any of that, right? Okay. Sorry, it's still very new to me. Damn it. The X split and everything. I think we're good though. Okay. So this month of November, so it's almost done with that. So Survivor Series has come and gone. The twenty uh, fifth annual Survivor Series. So it's and it had been around for a while. A big number like that. I think maybe it's like the second longest. I don't know if that's true or not. No, actually, Survivor Series has not been going on for uh, 25 years. It's actually been going on for uh, for longer. Really? Oh, maybe I'm thinking the yeah. Under okay, I'm thinking the Undertaker then, because it's 25 years of him. And also the Gobbledygooker yeah. as well. If you, but we'll get to that. <laughs> we will get to that. Uh, my first things first. Not, Survivor but... Series. Oh man, the. I think the internet. Really didn't want Reigns to win because that's when my shit started. Like, it got like really bad, like cutting out. Like, I couldn't get video at all from this, so I had to, so I missed like a good portion of the first match of the semifinals: Del Rio versus Reigns. Yeah, I'm just gonna be mostly just gonna be quiet over there for you. Cover Survivor Series and Raw, then join in for uh, NXT and Ring of Honor. So. Okay. All right, uh, Del Rio. He seems to tweak his leg or his knee or something coming down. Again, I missed, like, maybe the first half of things. Uh, Roman just strongmans his way out of that cross arm breaker, and Del Rio, for some reason, after tweaking, goes up the top rope again and gets speared for the 1-2-3. Yeah, I don't have much for this because, again, I missed probably a good portion of it. I think I didn't come into, like, maybe, like, 10 after the event was going on, like, a little bit after that. Um, backstage interviewed by Jojo, he's greeted, um, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, he's greeted by Dean Ambrose, who's off to do battle with Kevin Owens up next, uh, latter reminds Owens how close he's come before, 
you know, Brock took it, um, Seth took it from him once, uh, WrestleMania, Bray took the money in the bank opportunity from him, Owen says, this time it's gonna be me taking away from you, and that's what I do, I beat Cena my first night, and I became Intercontinental Champion the first opportunity I got, uh, so your, your little romance story of, like, your, you and your best friend fighting at the finals, that's not gonna happen, it's gonna be the Kevin Owens show, it's right now, featuring Dean Ambrose, uh, Rough, sloppy, bringing Ambrose face down on uh, Owens' knee. Ambrose about to send Owens off the top rope and gets gut wrenched off by Ambrose. Digging hits that bounce off the ropes clothesline harder than I've ever seen or heard. Like that was like audible. It's like bam. Like you can hear him hit him. Uh, Owens catches Ambrose flying at him and throws him gut first onto a table. No breaky breaky. I guess we're saving that for later. Tries to get that pop-up powerbomb, but Ambrose lick frogs him and it's two kicks from Owens and on the second pop-up attack uh, attempt gets Frankensteinered Dirty Dudes and Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose is your main event for the pay-per-view. Who's gonna get the gold? Roman Reigns and we cut to uh uh I guess it's like Roman Reigns the video game, but it's an ad for TLC. I, I wish they could have <laughs> Look like something out of betrayal. <laughs> Oh shit, and then just Big Show shows up like fucking Mike Tyson and I want to be the guy just throws like a, it's like Mode 7 just punches <laughs> Roman Reigns and he just falls to his death <laughs> and crashes through a table. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so good. Just, just thinking of just you know, Roman Reigns just being like, I want to be the guy. Ooh. Ah. <coughs> oh yeah, because I was I forgot, I was editing, uh, what you call it, I missed the, the pre-show, that was like a five on five, I forgot to cover that, I apologize. Again, I'm just kind of all over the place, there was like a, but we do have a, I say that because we have a five on three, five on five Survivor Series matchup that wasn't on the pre-show, Ryback, Lucha Dragons, and the Usos versus the New Day and the Eurohelians together again! Oh, no, no, it was actually, uh, not completely together again. That would happen later, but we'll get to that. Um, Xavier Woods with that pay-per-view custom do is only he has. <laughs> he came out, you know, come and rock me, Xavier Woods. Actually, I, some were saying Gaston. I was thinking maybe more like Prince or maybe it looked kind of more like um, uh, Elvis or something like that. Or <laughs> but again, the pay-per-view hair was out tonight for Xavier Woods. I, he must do this like every pay-per-view he comes out and... Styles it up. Love his channel, by the way. Up, up, down, down. If you've seen that already, Lucha, Lucha booties spending another day at the kitty table, as they say. The Usaos putting Hello Kitty band aids on their boo boos, and Ryback never got what he wanted because he's bald. Sheamus makes things awkward by being several years too late, saying he's gonna get jiggy with it. It actually silences the New Day's music. <laughs> I noticed all of the faces are also color coordinated, save for Ryback. You know, Rytista all over again. Rybluetista or something. I forget what I said on uh, Twitter. It's, it's been a whole week. Uh, Usos and the Lucha Dragons in stereo flying off at the heels. Don't do it, Ryback. Oh, someone's injured. Yeah, he flies off too for. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, nice of Barrett to jump in on the New Day mid match dance party. It's a shame he's eliminated first by Sin Cara. Yeah. Xavier does return the favor by eliminating Jimmy Uso, and Big U just kills Sin Cara with a spear off the ropes. About to take care of business, but Sheamus tags himself in. Bro kicks Sin Cara to an elimination, and Big U takes issue with um, him tagging in, and Sheamus is like, you, you get back in here. He forcibly tags E back in. So... Scumbag Sheamus allowing E to get eliminated by the t uh, uh, the triple team of Jay, Kalisto, and Ryback. They're all like, it's all tandem tag offense. It's like a triple tech from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> all three of them take him down. And Kofi and Xavier are like, our, our, our unicorn brother has fallen. We're going to take him to the back. So yeah, you know, that's what you get, Sheamus. You know, he, he does his best despite the numbers game actually looking like he may bro kick Ryback. But uh, tag to Kalisto, tag to Jay and Ryback once again. The uh, 
they once again do a three-on-one kind of back-and-forth tandem to eliminate Sheamus and win the match, I guess. I guess the other two got counted out. I didn't see that at all. But I guess they weren't coming back out. I'm like, all right. <clears throat> Divas title match is up next. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm starting to think the one person watching is me. <laughs> I might be watching my own stream. Whatever, this has to cut out the middleman anyway, because because Camtasia uh, tends to crash a lot when I try to edit it before. So even if no one watches, they'll be able to watch it later. Uh, but anyway, the Divas title match. Um, Charlotte's good, but I believe like a good. It might take a, that good heel, like Paige's uber jealous bitch heel, may have tried to breathe some life back into this revolution. Can their match do the same? The crowd didn't seem to think so, but I don't know. I'm, I, I really took issue with them for this. Like, this is your revolution, and you're just kind of sitting there. But, um, yeah, this wasn't their best match. To I'm, I'm usually, like, not on <clears throat> their side. But after seeing the Bellas hold the division hostage, this was a four-star effort in comparison, let's just say. So, you know, I, I guess I'm... Too used to taking what I get around here because I don't watch that much outside. People who are more like indie or smart marks might, you know, wanted more and they got like an okay match. Um, Charlotte indeed was saving all her frustration for Paige, uh, early figure four, and gets reversed by Paige who turns it back around, then over the uh, ring apron, really like on the outside the figure four, like really punishing Paige, trying to t t take her down to like a a vertical base and then it just drops her face first on that apron holy shit <laughs> more submissions and locks from charlotte showing Paige that this may not be her house anymore Paige does get some breathing room after sending charlotte's shoulder first into the ring post and then Paige locks on submissions of her own she she does get a little attention whore i think as becky lynch called her over twitter regarding this match she's like standing on the barricade she's like yeah this is my house and Oh my god. The tongue thing, like, irks me too. Like, she's doing that a lot now, and her tongue's out. I'm like, uh. I don't know why it irks me. It just, just looks a little weird, and she's like, she wasn't doing that all of a sudden before, and now that she's healed, she's like, eh. Just a weird vibe, I guess. I don't know. But. She's standing on the barricade celebrating and Char Charlotte just like rips her right off of it and brings her back in for that figure eight and tap out. Charlotte is still your champion. She was near the rope, uh, near the ropes, but it looked like she just kind of gave up from the looks of things. And again, it's a shame that people couldn't get behind on this one. Um, the near the, I didn't think the near the ropes thing would come into play, but they found a, I, th I thought it was going to be like, like trying to, it actually will. Here, I thought she was going to get out of it, but the near the ropes thing will come into play on Monday. We'll get to that. But for now, the battle of the second coming of Billy Gunn versus the second coming of Dolph Ziggler in a battle of who looks slash wrestles the flashiest, in my opinion. By the way, I'm so glad um, Tyler Bruce, um he still used the beauty shot. It still looked good. Like, he did it on SmackDown, and it looked phenomenal. Like, ooh, it looked good. Is a triple threat in the main event, which we'll get to. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm all over the place today, even though I wrote shit down. <laughs> sorry. Um, but he, he's a, they actually gave him the unprettier as a finisher to use, and that's what he uses to win this match. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm glad he's using that for his finisher now. I just wish this match had more time to develop better before Ziggler had to kind of do the honors, which considering a year ago at Survivor Series where Ziggler was is more than a little depressing to think about for him. I'm like, wow. Huh. But anyway, the, the other big match, the Wyatt's ready to battle the Brothers of Destruction. Great nod from Kane for his pyro to like, he does the pyro thing and boom, it lights up the Undertaker, Undertaker symbols on the sides as he walks out under this giant wooden coffin which highlights... All of the various looks he's had over the years, like they, they have him with like the, the mask where they crushed his face. They have a Ministry of Darkness with like the long goatee, which is my favorite look. The, the, even the biker era, yeah! I was like, yo, the biker, the biker taker, fuck yeah! Because 
how the fuck are you going to tell Taker no? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I, 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 I want all my forms out there. And W's like, okay. He's your linchpin. You're not going to... Don't argue with him on that. It's like, yeah, okay, okay. You're just some things you got to accept. It's, at least at least I think that's my take on it. Like, he was just like, eh, just... Like, let me do the biker taker thing. You haven't done it for a while, but then you... It, it's it's as part of me as anything else. You know. So they were like, all right. Um, I guess it won't be Eric Rowan for this. They, they were going to choose which um, Wyatts were going to do this in like a two-on-two. -two. Uh, Eric Rowan just... I'm going to blindside him! Like, and he just gets taken out of the equation altogether. Just double choke slammed and he's like done for the night. I'm like, okay. So... Bray and Harper it is, keeping Strowman on the outside as your secret weapon to do shit with later. Harper getting all of Taker in the at the early going. Like, I don't think Taker, like, I don't think he, like, sold really all that much. He didn't miss a step. It was like Kane that had to do most of the damage, or took most of the damage, rather, and then Taker gets the hot tag and just goes through everybody, because it's his night. It's 25 years of... Uh, Kane and Bray in now. He's about to choke slam Bray on the outside, and Strowman sends Kane over the announce table. Uh, uh, someone in the crowd like, lay your hands on him. And Bray does lay his hands on Kane. Thank you, single fan. I wonder if you were the same fan that was chanting for Sasha Banks during the Divas title match. Can't say I blame you. I've kind of, like, she's become now my wrestling waifu, kind of. Anyway, Kane took a beating, but he does break free and it is indeed back to The Undertaker, laying destruction to anything that stands in front of him. Bray and Harper sending Taker over the top rope, but Taker just looks over Strowman, who gave the distraction, allowing Taker to be toppled over the top rope, and then double choke slamming Strowman through the table. Sister Abigail and Taker. But Kane saves the matchup, and Taker and Kane both sit up after they get beaten down after Bray does his little crawl thing. He's like, oh shit. Luke Harper takes the tombstone pile driver as Taker wins the match for the brothers. And it is now minimum time! Roman Reigns versus the internet, uh, I mean, Dean, Dean Ambrose. And man, is the string quality fluctuating. Like, it was like, like it felt like a, a pay-per-view in fucking England, like on tape delay. Like, it was like, oh, 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 oh. Like, I think the sound, it didn't matter with the sound quality, but the picture was starting to get, like, really fuzzy. Like, I, again, this is why I was thinking, like, the internet doesn't really know what this is. Like, wow, they were really on Roman. They really know <laughs> Because it was, because at the beginning, and now he's at the main event, and both times, the fucking stream just... <laughs> Dean from the top rope smack dab into a Superman punch, and Dean kicks out. So he's got another punch ready. Dean blocks it, turns it to Dirty Dudes. That gets blocked. Clothesline surprise spear, and Roman still can't get a pin on the guy. Another spear attempt. Um, sends a shoulder into the ring post. Dirty Dudes! Near fall, and now they just, like, look at each other. It's like, well, you fucking stay down. It's like, no, you fucking stay down. And they start, like, shoving each other. It's like, why the fuck wouldn't you take me? Why the fuck wouldn't you take my finisher? And then they just start throwing hands at one another. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, friendship fractured? No. They're just like, I, I want to win. No, I want to win. I want to win. So it's, I guess it had to come to that at some point. So now they're just, like, throwing hands at each other. And Dean about to, Dean about to take it. And then Rain spears him for the, for the win. Like, another spear. Confetti all around, and out comes the game. Uh, extends his hand, and Reigns just spears him. But there is no joy for the Roman Empire, because the cash in time was then. And Sheamus is now your new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. As he leaves with Triple H, and we get a shot of, like, Roman Reigns just crushed, devastated. They bring up on Raw, he was, like, champion for, like, I think it was, like, 5.05, like, five minutes. Uh, speaking of Raw, they uh, opened that with the authority all smiles, smiles rather. Bleh. They ensured Roman, but uh, they ensured he'd win. You know, he tried to help him out, but you know, he, like we tried to help him, but Roman chose to tell me to shove my opportunity. And Steph says, you know, opportunity knocked twice, and both times Roman turned it down. Triple H wanted to be the first to shake Roman's hand after he won that title, and Roman chose to spear me instead. And that is why Roman is champion no longer. And they introduce Sheamus. He goes through his thing. He's like, oh, fellow, I'm the champion again. And Roman 
comes out to interrupt and demands a rematch tonight when Steph makes it clear that, you know, you, you're not in a position to demand anything anymore. It's like you, you had your opportunities. It's like, yeah, yeah you just think, think you can just cut ahead of line. And it's like, all right. Well, he was champion for a very short while, but it, it does entitle him to a, a rematch clause. And Triple H is like, yeah, well, you're not getting it tonight. What he does get is Rusev, Rusev sneak attacker. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> He's back. The Euro Heelans are together again. He's helping out his fellow Euro Heelan. Sh -sh 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 the best friends. So it's Roman versus Rusev tonight. Roman versus Sheamus three weeks at the next pay per view TLC. And of course, they table ladders and chairs match. Um. This was weird because the Bray was standing because the Wyatts were back there and they were kind of standing like kind of in a diamond. I was thinking like the like uh, Queen Peel, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. So I was like, Bohemian Rhapsody? Is this the real life? Is this Sister Abigail? I screwed that up. <laughs> you know, they say the Brothers of Destruction survive, but the Dudleys are going to pay for their sins. And so it's Dudley versus the Wyatts that actually fought the Undertaker and King Luke and Bray. Discus clothesline from Harper off a distraction allows the Wyatts to win this one. Um, the commercial break spared us from the what's up. Cole's commentary sadly did not. I had written down the... Oh, what's up? I was thinking R Truth. Like, he does the what's up too. I'm like, wait, no, it's like what up. <laughs> I guess I wrote that wrong. I'm like, ugh. So I guess they're both like, uh, oh. <laughs> and Cole even was like, what up? I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Because I, I saw on Twitter, it's like, hey, while doing commercial, they did the what's up, and I'm like, oh, we missed that. Oh, darn. Oh. How will I ever sleep at night? It's Sasha versus Becky Lynch. Let's fucking go. All right, let's get hyped for this one. Uh, Naomi helps out and ensures Sasha doesn't not have to tap out to the disarmor from Becky Lynch. Roll up and Sasha is still undefeated on Raw. Yay! And she was like, back, she was like getting inter there was like a. WWE.com exclusive where she get an interview match and they said, look like you tap out. I'm like, oh, excuse you? I didn't tap out. There was a a, a bug and I was trying to s smash it. You know? There's a spider or something like <laughs> Lie, cheat, steal, Sasha. Mm. Mamacita. <laughs> um, but the, the announcers there were like, you know, they want Sasha too, and they're like, yeah, I figured that she's in for a Divas title shop, and Paige interrupts like, no, 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 what are you, what uh-uh, Charlotte cheated to win, and shows Charlotte's arm, when she did, like, the figure eight, like, her arm was, like, underneath the bottom rope, when she put that figure eight on Paige, so she's like, you know, she's upset with that, she wants a, a rematch down the line, she's like, she cheated to win, and I deserve a second chance. Uh, the New Day anniversary is upon us, and they have a, a, a Music City Open Challenge. Um, they claim that country music sucks. Take that, West Texas Rednecks. Kofi's like, yo, uh, yo, this, I'm, this isn't even in character. I really do hate country music. <laughs> it's like, wow, Kofi. <laughs> I agree, but, whew. like, I was, oh, that that had me rolling for a while. I was laughing my ass off. Like, no, I'm, I'm serious. I'm it's like. This ain't even Nicole Kingston, right? Uh, I don't know what his... I don't know if that's his real name or not. I think it's... Like, th this ain't even my character. Like, I really do hate country music. <laughs> the Lucha Dragons answer the challenge and say that uh, New Day runs. And it doesn't look... did look like that's what they're gonna do. And then the Usos come out. So, New Day runs both of them down verbally for interrupting their jamboree. And says, you know, who's getting the opportunity? Nobody! So, the Usos and Dragons send them away and... I guess that was it. I thought we were getting uh, like okay, they don't. They're not gonna have a match tonight. Guess we got something else in mind. I don't know. This was a rear. This was a. This is where we're all starting to get like really weird. Like it's just starting to get some weird shit going on. Um, I mean, um, 
Is he face or is he heel? No one knows, but he's against Neville. Look out! He is the world's strongest man. Weird finish over uh, Henry. I, th I thought he kicked out just in time of the red arrow, but no. He's, he's like, powers out, and it's like the ref was like, no, 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 he got you. And Henry wants to shake Neville's hand, and he does so. So, And The Miz is watching this backstage as the camera shows. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't know. I guess they're Miz and Neville? I don't know. Uh, speaking of weird, Stardust uh, doing his rambling on and on until Titus O'Neil all of a sudden just walks in to talk about stars to troll him. Like, uh, like, or, or, like, look at that star. It's like, um, what was it? Titania over there. And it's like, I don't see Titania. It's like, or, or, or. <laughs> he, he apparently stepped into Stardust Dimension. Like, he's not allowed in there. I, I wouldn't even think that. I thought you had to be invited. Like, he, you crashed his dimension. We are the Ascension, and we will team with Stardust to get beat up by Goldust and the PTP. Goldust was actually a part of the, um, they mentioned, because I forgot to cover it, but they mentioned, like, he was in the pre-show. I forget who else he was with, but, yeah, it's like Goldust, so I guess they're still doing, having their feud for a while. The Mex-American State of Address is up next. Zeb says... We once opened our borders to all of you that wanted to leave the sinking ship that was America and join up with us. But you do what Americans always do. You go to social media and complain. I'm like, yeah. So, Mix America hates Tumblr. <laughs> hey, Mix them is all right it's, it, in my book as New Day is for hating on country music. <laughs> Maybe I'm the real monster. <laughs> <laughs> Swaggering up saying, you know, Zeb, you you used to stand for something and the people believed along with him. I believe people started just chanting along with it because it was a post-yes movement, not quite New Day rocks move moment yet. So they wanted to latch on something to chant for him when if it, they, was like, they were like the super American heels, like, you know, the, you know, you know, Mexicans. Immigration, grr. Yeah, com compare Zeb to Vince McMahon, saying he's out of touch. And this sets off Del Rio. He's like, yeah, you, you fucking come down here and do something about it. And Smirko's like, I'm, I am here to fight all of America's enemies, foreign and domestic. So, if you, I don't like what you're saying, so I'm gonna do something about it. And he advances to the ring as Del Rio leaves it. Charlotte Page rematch. I guess this was the thing. I forgot to... I don't know why I didn't write the rest of this down. I'm sorry. Mm. So I guess she does a rematch tonight. Um, Charlotte a little too cocky and showboaty against someone who ran down her family last week. I guess she's a flair after all. Woo! Um, Does Charlotte have really long legs or do they just like this... Back of the leg knee spot for Charlotte. Because I remember seeing this when she fought uh, Nikki Bella at a pay-per-view. Like, they suplexed her and her her leg went, like, over the rope and just, like, ran into it. And Paige does this twice in this matchup. So I, I, I really don't know what this to make of this. I'm like, ooh, this looks, it looks bad. Like, should she be tucking her feet in or something? Is she fucking up? Are they too close to the ropes for that or something? Whereas, because Charlotte's, I, I, I'm pretty sure Charlotte's, like, a really pretty tall woman so i don't know if it's like she's gonna like tuck in or maybe they gotta spread it out or something like that but i just i see Paige doing it like again i just thought of it again and to see Paige do it like twice to it like really take her out i'm like is this is, is, it, is it a thing they're going to be doing with her can she like i don't know hmm just just something i noticed and it's just I'm not sure what to make of it i don't know if it's for real or not but anyway uh Charlotte now is starting to get a little frustrated, and Paige starts to begin to capitalize on that back and forth till Charlotte spears Paige on the, uh, to the outside, rather, as it is a double countout. And Paige has Charlotte on the announce table with the PTO, just like she had Becky Lynch a few weeks, a few Raws back. The One Man Band, baby! is about to put on a rock concert till Ryback interrupts, and... You can't do a solid for your former Nexus brother? What a heel. Scumbag Ryback. I don't know. Like, like, like uh, 
Yeah, needs to be alliteration, so... Well, I'm sure we'll think of something like... Ryba ry Rybag, like scum Rybag or something. I don't know. Nah, that's not clever. Who Slater does his best Jeff Jarrett impression, and I guess, you know, cut to that guy who said, didn't draw a dime, because... Ryback just no sells it. <laughs> like, oh man, this this could have been perfect. Oh, he started coming out like uh, calling people slap nuts. <laughs> oh, oh, that would have been awesome. I'm sorry. That's like, uh, they won't because they fucking hate Jarrett like Vince does. I know that, but kind of shit on him, but really. <laughs> Give him a job or anything as Jeff Jarrett. Not like, wow, I think people would be. <laughs> that might have been good for maybe like one week. I think if they kept doing it, and ran, they would have ran it to the ground. So maybe that's why it's probably like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, really? Like... So I guess it's as long as they just do that, I guess. But yeah, you just Ryback just no sells it completely. Meat Hook, Shell Shock, Ambrose and Ziggler versus Breeze and Owens. Owens really not up for teaming with the Prince of Pretty, so he. Sadly, loses another one. It's kind of a two-on-one thing, because he's like, I, I got the belt. I'm just like, whatever, whatever. It's in a title match. I'm not gonna win any prizes from it. I'm just so I'm just gonna leave Bruce to his fit. Main event: Sheamus ringside to show support for his fellow Eurohelion Rusev. Interferes in the match twice, so the ref throws him out. I can't remember the last time a uh, the WWE champion got thrown out by the ref, but it's it's. I don't know. I just can't... Just something I'm not used to seeing. I'm used to seeing that for, like, mid-card matches or something. Or, like, Divas match. Like, you you get out of here. But no, the main event? Heel shenanigans? And they're like, you get out of here. And usually it's, like, the... The guy's backing up the champion. But this is, like, the first time that I can remember in a long while where the champion himself got thrown out. So, it's... So it just goes down to Rusev and Reigns. And Rusev off the top rope! But only a near fall somehow. Roman fights out of the accolade, gets to his feet. Superman punch, near fall. Reigns starts shaking himself to finish this match, and Rusev leaves the ring. And Rusev comes right back after him, and but Rusev catches him with, boom, boot to the face, and starts laying the damage on Reigns by throwing him into the barricade and into the table. Tosses him back into the ring as Reigns stirs, and just Superman punches Rusev off the ropes and onto the floor. Runes drop kick to the outside. He's about to do something. But then the other Nero Helion appears. Wade Barrett with a bull hammer. And that's why I said they're back together. Because, yeah, full team. And so Seamus runs out and starts doing damage. But Roman, you know, he's he's got his hands on a steel chair. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, they. So this is like fighting off the odds here. I'm like, yeah, he's got a steel chair. You're not doing anything now. But again, like, because the pay per is coming up. And we're going to push for that. So I'm like, okay. So that's already a thing, so. But anyway, uh, ooh. Not much to go on for, um, NXT, um, but. Because it's only a little while, but I managed to cover this as quickly as I could. So I was kind of rushing through this one, sorry. Um, I was rushing through a lot of these, really. SmackDown was one, too. I, well, I had time to watch that a little bit more of that, so it's not as condensed, but. Like, I got, like, two paragraphs for NXT, but it's an hour and whatever. But, um,. It kicks off with the new man in charge because William Regal's still out uh, on his injury. Uh, Michael Cole, which the crowd boos, rightfully so, because they remember. Um, yeah. He makes the match between Bailey and Eva Maria thing, saying, like, yeah, like Regal really didn't want this match. And like, on behalf of corporate, you know, so it's like, oh, man, like the... So it's, it's, it was it remind it's like the Divas version of Stone Cold and Dude Love. Like we got this guy, we're make, gonna make him corporate, or something like that. But condensed into like an uh, an hour long. So it's it's basic. I liked it. And he's got a contract signing set for Finn Balor and Joe. And Balor comes out first, not waiting to be announced because he usually announces the challenger first and then the champion. And he comes, uh, the champion comes out first and said, "You made me realize that trust and friendship in this business is a rarity." And I want you to come out here, sign the contract, look me in the eye, because you're, cause you're not entitled to anything. And then Samoa Joe comes out and asks by Michael Cole, who arrive, sign contract, leave. Doesn't even doesn't even look does at uh, Finn Balor. Not, don't even acknowledge his fucking presence. I'm like, oh, this is good. When's the last time you see that? Like, 
even if it was for only like an hour and you got to speed this shit up, it was still really good. Like he's just like walking with his head down determined, but he doesn't look at Finn Balor. He's like, you're a coward, Joe. And he just do to do signs the contract, just throws the pen at him and like leaves. Oh, wow. You're getting like real bad reception over there. Um, Finn signs the contract and the match is set. And then Joe attacks from behind as Balor leaves to celebrate. Ends up in the Coquina Clutch once yeah. again. Dash and Dawson successfully retain their tag titles against the Vaude Villains. They get their rematch. They look pretty good. But again, they kind of two on one things, the tandem offense. But then Enzo and Big Cass run out and get a little revenge post match. Yay! Eva Marie in Regal's office for some reason. So, like, uh. So, yeah, they were really, like, foreshadowing, like, oh, is the fix in? Like, before the announcers even started saying anything, I'm like, oh, this is. It, it, it's, it was subtle. It was pretty good. I was liking it. So she's like, why are you in Regal's office? And she's like, I'm, I'm here preparing for my match against Bailey with her new bestie, Nia Jax, who gives her, like, a present from Total Divas. She's like, oh, thank you, Total Divas, for making me a, a somebody, I guess. And then we get this vignette on this, um, I don't, maybe you can help me out with this one. I was, uh, somebody on a guitar, and I thought it was, like, a look, look kind of vaguely like Roman Reigns and a little bit. But he's like strumming a guitar, singing vaguely about the other superstars. Like we got like a, like he KO'd his heart or something like that. Which wasn't sure what this was. You know, we have masqueraders. We need liberators. What it needs is what I am. And that's what he ends it on. I'm like, hmm? Was that like a thing for like a pay-per-view? Or is it like a vignette for someone coming? I didn't get a name after that, so I don't know. Like some, Like this person is coming or something like that. Yeah, not sure. So it's really vague right now. Mm -hmm. So, the, so I'm gonna have to keep up with that, like, cause I wrote, cause I always bringing in new stars. So that's what I thought this was. I'm like, this is somebody, but I don't know. They haven't said anything about it yet. And they didn't acknowledge it. We also sadly did not get an Oscar match, unfortunately. We were, uh, it was because it was gonna be Oscar and Dana Brooke, cause you know Dana calls her out, and then Emma strikes from behind, and she looks like the, oh, what was it, the stalker or something like that. Or was it like uh, when Raven had his lackey, it turned out I think it was like Tori. Not Tori Wilson, but Tori with our, our, our T-O-R-I Tori, I think it was. Yeah. If I'm recalling that. I almost said Victoria, but that was a uh, tear over at uh, TNA, the biker helmet. That was the other thing of that. That's what made me confused. I'm like, wait, am I saying that right? No. Tori, Tara. Blah. But yeah, sadly, no Asuka match. She gets jumped two on one. But then she gets up and she's like, does her creepy slasher smile again? She's like, oh, like, oh, shit's like, shit's on. <laughs> Bailey talking about Eva Marie has corporate in her back pocket, but Bailey, you know, she uses, she uses the W word. She's a wrestler. <laughs> Protect the children. She's gonna prove the doubters wrong again. She says, um, we do get another vignette, and this one's. Uh, we know who this guy is, Sami Zayn. Yeah. As we move on to Apollo Cruz beating Jesse Sorensen in dominating fashion, says he accepts Corbin's challenge at Takeover London. Uh, Charles Robinson to oversee the main event, and the announcers are. And this is where the announcers are like, "Oh, the, it's the fix in." Nia uh, Nia Jackson the outside yanking the ref early on in this match, and in comes Robinson. Sliced bread for two, and Eve is now arguing with her own fucking referee. <laughs> she's like, two, she's like, one, two, three. Like, you can't even count fast, like, normally. I thought she'd be like, one, two, three. <laughs> like, just blatant cheating or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's, she, after after hearing her botch the word verse, I, I, I put nothing against her, like, actually, bo like, like, if she didn't count quickly, I'm thinking, like, maybe she botched that. I'm like, eh, it's a, a, a pretty strong maybe. Like, she's, she's, like, Sin Cara, I believe, is no longer the patron saint of botching. I'm sorry if you people still think that I think Eva Marie's kind of taken over that. <laughs> Especially since they got the uh, Hunico Sin Cara now, who's that kind of all right. Of course, uh, well, we know who the real star of that is. We're going to be pushing um, what's um, Kalisto, because he just looks amazing. That, uh title match was supposed to be maybe a, like a for the tournament was I think was supposed to be like his jumping off point or something maybe and then we're gonna get the lucha the lucha dragon split up and do stuff maybe so yeah then we get the black yeah, pretty much covers, 
Yeah, so that pretty much covers NXT. So now, move yeah. on towards Ring of Honor. Yeah, you already said... Uh, and there are things over in here. Or, there's this wait. episode over here with uh, Moose taking on Dominic Carter, but but this starts off merely as a segment. We enter to our real first match of the night, which was Michael Elgin and Moose taking on Jay Diesel and Donovan Dijak. Here, and this was a real solid match to kick off things here with uh, Elgin, Buckle, Bonnie, Diesel, and then Moose tagging himself in over there to hit his spear and get the win over on Dijak and Diesel. Thank you, Rick. Here. So, and then basically then we have our main event, which is the matchup for the TV championship between Roddy and Jay Lethal, and this was a superb match. Not as quite as great as their match earlier on in the year for where it went 60 minutes for the Ring of Honor World Championship, but still is, this match was fucking awesome. And Roddy gets the unexpected win and wins the TV championship from Jay Lethal. And, here, and this is just mainly, or you're kind of a transition show to set up for Final Battle to come up uh, later this month. So, yeah, this is basically Ring of Honor. I forget how quick that is. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, Korak, welcome. Uh, we got just, that was, uh, Ring of Honor, which, uh, Maryland here covered. Uh, you already talked about Ron's, uh, and the pay-per-view. So we just got SmackDown, unless, uh, Vexper comes in later to talk about TNA, if there even is that much to talk about. I know on YouTube they put, like, the whole thing of, like, the, I think it's, like, the rest of the tournament, because it was, like, a two-hour video or something like that on YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't think I want to have the time to watch that anymore, because... I, I, uh, I still see that thing on my uh, Discord, the thing coming back in January. I'm like, what is that channel? Wasn't Ring of Honor supposed to come to uh, the, what's it called? Isn't Ring of Honor coming to... Um, yeah, it's supposed to come to Fox TV. It's coming to Destiny... Oh, I mean, Ring yeah, of it's Honor. TV, yeah. Oh, Ring of Honor's coming to Destination America. I know Sma I know they did... I forgot to mention this on Raw. They mentioned uh, that SmackDown's coming to the USA Network, too. I don't know anything about time slots at all or anything. They might keep the Thursday thing. Yeah, Ring of Honor. Yeah, Ring of Honor already left Destination America. Okay. All right. I know I do have that channel. I just won't watch Impact anymore because they're, like, super behind. I, I, I looked behind and it's, like, July? Holy shit. Like, that's far. Really far. Sorry about the... Yeah. There. It might be my microphone doing stuff. Uh, Ring of Honor is just another... Um, promotion that um maryland covers it's, it's coming to he said it's coming to tv so i might be able to look into that even if i can't get it in a ring of honor local news network i think that's how i think that's how i started to find uh ecw because the tnn early back on used to be like that and then the raw became on there for a while and they had that for a while and they make him like spec tv before wwe took came left that and went to the back to usa Anyway, speaking of WWE, oh, hold on one sec. Oh, one second. Oh. <coughs> mm. Need a little drink of something. Throw was messing with me. Okay. All right. SmackDown kicks off with Roman Reigns, who, along with the uh, says, along with the Usos as kids, they they'd, they'd wrestle and dream of being world champion one day. And at Sunday, that dream was realized for me. But it, for me, it was a, a very short dream. And immediately, Sheamus comes out to rub it in his face and stuff like, I've been in elevators longer than you were champion. You can't even cook up a burrito in the microwave enough. Okay, you... That's bullshit. I know for a fact you can cook a burrito faster than that. Like, if this was the Big Show's reign before Daniel Bryan cashed in and won and, won and became world cha uh, world champion back when they were split, that was a short reign. I think I, I think they brought that up. That was like along with like a 15, 18 second reign or something like that. I think he still has like the shortest. I think it's like not even a full minute for him. So, but Sheamus is like, you could have taken the handshake, but no, you didn't. And meanwhile, I'm the type that bides his time and seizes his opportunities, and that's why I'm champion. Well, all you have. Is broken dreams. I'm the chosen Celtic warrior, fella. You're out of time, so say goodbye. What was yours, now is mine. By that I mean the WWE Championship. 
See you in your nightmares, fella. See you in your nightmare. <laughs> he went dr <laughs> from Drew McIntyre to Geese Howard, ladies and gentlemen. Shame is your world champion. <laughs> you can't eat that, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, the hands are tied in to do something. And again, he works the heel like he can. It's so uh, he's it, he's gonna need to look hella strong though for the pay per view and Roman already. So I'm uh, looking for that match, and Roman's like, "Well, let me tell you what your nightmare is. I'm gonna break your jaw with a Superman punch, break your back with this chair, power bomb you through this table, and when you can't get up, I climb that ladder and take back what's mine." The Dudleys back again to do battle with the Wyatt family, and they vow, vow for the family to toast, quote. Dudley Wood. I don't think that's PG. Brian Harper rocked our shit on Monday, so now it's Rowan and Strowman. Yeah, that rhymed. Uh, Dudley go for tables. Luke kicks Bubba in the face to stop him, and he's the one that gets DQ'd? Alright, fuck it. I guess, I guess the Dudleys have to win one, even though it is DQ. Just seems a little... Seems a little bit convenient. Like the heels get, like the faces we're bringing in the table is about to do some DQ shit, and they, he like saved the match because he he wasn't the legal man. He was on the outside. Uh, Luke Harper just bam. But Strowman squeezes. Then Luke and Rowan pick up Bubba and drop him through the table. And to end that, WWEshop.com. Uh, WWEshop.com. Come on, see, I even I fucked it up. See, not as badly as the Miz. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't have any phone numbers to remember. I'd, <laughs> I'd probably fuck that up too. Uh, I don't even know if... So, before you shit on the Miz, he's been worse. But anyway, WWE Shop commercial with The New Day. Xavier Woods um, still sporting the hairdo from the pay-per-view, so I th I'm thinking they did this either before or later after their match. Like this, where they drag him back. It's like, oh, we gotta do a commercial. Like, come on, come on. Uh, so yeah, that was like for the Black Friday event. Like it was like 10, 15 percent off or stuff like that. But anyway, Becky Lynch versus uh, Paige. Becky's back. Um, so Paige looking to work some more damage into Becky. The announcers, uh, they the announcers even said that's why we haven't seen Becky in a while because she was out on that table and they like put her in the PTL. Expert. Yeah. Oh man, I'm already on SmackDown. Well, you'll be in time for uh. You'll cover TNA yeah. afterwards. Sorry, and uh, I did this at there, one thirty. There is no more was... TNA. Oh, that's there's it? no more TNA. Oh, it, well, well, they did the to me, to, oh. to me, there's no more TNA. <laughs> oh, I, I just like I said, there was the the big tournament or whatever. Yeah, it's 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 not gonna happen, man. TNA is just done for. I just gave up on that. Oh, well, I'll give them a try again in January, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. But also, I have this for you. Oh. I've been away. Yeah. Um, and to make up for it... Oh my god, hang on. <laughs> Dog bags, dogs or something like that. Keep going! Oh, sorry. Ooh. That's the wolf tap. You never know what you're going to expect. But anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, Becky Lynch and Paige. Um, they tried to do a thing where Paige is... Clearly able to use the rope leverage, but gets the roll-up win anyway. I think that might have been a, a, a botch or something like that, but SmackDown is taped, so I guess they left it in and just tried to cover it. It's like, yeah, she tried to, like, it looked like she was, like, her foot was, like, under the ropes. It's like, it, like even the answers were like, oh, it's okay if Paige does it. Like, fine. Like, and, like all of a sudden, like, Charlotte does it, like, on accident, and all of a sudden, like, oh. So I get what they were trying to go for, but. Yeah, this was awesome. Uh, New Day celebrating with Team Bad for a holiday potluck dinner. Nighttime, I can just get to see Sasha Banks is an okay day for me. <laughs> like I said, she's my she's become my new wrestling waifu. I haven't had one in a while. Not since Stacy Keebler. That was practically eons ago. But there, uh, the holiday potluck dinner, uh, Slater Gator, he comes in and brings a, a casserole of some kind that's like, it's like green beans and bologna, he's like, whoa, 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 and, and B looks over, he's like, is, is that a fucking pig, dude? <laughs> like, 
Ooh. Ooh. Is that, was that, I'm thinking, it was like, was that Splinters from when you broke the guitar on Ryback on Monday? And, uh, uh, to quote Little Creeble, Adam Rose! Adam Rose! It, even Kobe's like, the, what are you doing here? And he's, he hands him like a big, uh, he hands him like a small pot and he just like, and he just, he just says, rabbit stew. And he leaves and it's like, it's like, no! It's, Biggie's like, like, you didn't cook, like, you didn't cook the bunny! No. Oh, don't cry. You're a heavy sweater. I don't know what the tears were. <laughs> He's thankful for tricep meat, by the way. I'm like, yeah, I would be too. If I, <laughs> if I look like that, I'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty thankful. <laughs> In comes Xavier Woods, dressed as the gobbledygooker, celebrating 25 years of him. Because, again, that was the same Survivor Series. The, and they actually do show that him coming out of the egg. And him doing, like, the turkey dance with, um, me and Gene. I don't know. I forget what that was supposed to be. I think, oh, OS, I think, uh, that was an early OSW review. They covered that or something. Getting half the, a lot of the information. Um, Del Rio versus Swagger up next. Zeb calls Swagger a selfish, ungrateful SOB. And why, and why is that? Is it your ignorance, your insecurity, or your blind American loyalty? You're like everyone else in this building. Haters, and he's got like hate free zone on his little uh, uh like scooter thing or something like that. He's like, Oh, he's, he's bringing, <laughs> I don't know. I I know people aren't uh too high up on Del Rio, but I sh again, he's an amazing guy. And we got Zeb Coulter, you can do again, it's like where uh Ricardo Rodriguez would do some of the stuff for him and kind of hype him up. Now he has Zeb Coulter to kind of do it in a different way. He's like, They're haters, they're trying to. Divide us. You know, uh, Rick Rod uh, didn't even know that um, Alberto was really? going to WWE. Oh, really? He was busy in India. He's he's actually managing the Great Kali right now in India. Wow. So he's over there now. Mm hmm. Bring back Rig King. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that show. Oh, I do have. Uh, yeah, like yeah. You were going to give me something, right? Also, 2009. I mean, I mean, I, I fucked that up already. It's Sheamus is champion. Alberto is W S champion. Yes. Swagger is getting a push. Two thousand nine WWE is looking great. Oh man, I didn't even think of that. Oh. I saw that from Botchamania. <laughs> oh right, yeah. See, they knew about that shit better than I did. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, I got a shot of Xavier Woods here. Oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I made that one. Uh, we, yeah, I was thinking that. I was th people saying Gaston. I thought he looked more like maybe like I said Prince, but I don't think that's right. It might have been a while. Ago. Maybe more like a little bit of James Brown, kind of. Maybe Lil Richard. Maybe like, he's, he's doing his best. Um, Mark Mara impression. <laughs> 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 uh, Johnny Bad. I was trying to remember what his WCW name oh. was. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, by the way, he's Brad Maddox, and he's a release than ever. Oh, they let him go. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I just I just seen him on a with the the blonde hair he had for uh, what was it up up down down? Because I'm watching that a lot. Yeah, they let him go. Oh. It's sad. He was having a new career too, but it was he was going to be a jobber anyway. So now I'm Brad and Sadox than ever. Hmm. <laughs> there he goes oh, with the God. legend G J T G. Leave the memories alone. Oh, <laughs> I I miss G T G. <laughs> this is Hollywood. This is Hollywood. Uh -huh. or something like that. That's how freaking the best friends got their thing from Crime Time. Yeah. More or less. But we digress. That's the line on that. Uh, but yeah, Del Rio Swagger. And Del Rio had a good line here. He's like, after our match, you're going to be thankful. I let you walk out of that ring with your tail between your legs, perro. Things looking good for Swagger till he starts he starts moving towards Zeb for some reason. I was like, why are you going to pick on this guy? Like, 
And, and of course, it leaves him enough time for Del Rio to come from behind and blast him with a steel chin to the back. So it ends in DQ. So I guess, I guess, see the pay-per-view for when they have it for the title. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. This is, why I do, this is why I do this on Friday and not Saturday. Sorry about that. And we're still going to be under, kind of under an hour. I'm surprised. Del Rio looking to continue that said beating in the ring, but the ref stops him so Swagger can return the favor. Um, backstage, the Usos are uh, on their way to have, I guess, to have their match with uh, the new Dennis Kofi. And he's, he's, cause he had still had, like, he came out with, like, the chef hat and the, and, like, the oven mitts on. I called him Chef Boyard D. And good God, keep away from his crotch, cameraman. This is a family show, Jesus. Like, it, it, was, it was Big E and his Langston. I'm like, oh, no. No. Well, oh, it's, a, it's Thanksgiving. Is, you're fucking You gotta tape. have stuffing. This, this isn't live. You gotta have stuffing. That's not live is either. It's like, oh, man. You no, know, it's get not. Get away with no. this, man. Like, oh, I implore you, sir. No. Oh, Don, please. Finger on the Over switch. No. No, it's Thanksgiving. You gotta have stuffing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, the use of earlier that they saw that they know it. Like, oh, that's Xavier Woods just as the gobbledygooker. Like, hey, we got an idea. So it's like Kofi and BRD coming out with the with a Woods as the gobbledygooker. Um, mm -hmm. Kofi tries to use the ropes to his advantage, but the gooker pushes him off. Selena Del Sol off the distraction, and the dragons win. It turns out the Usos have kidnapped Xavier Woods and have stripped him down to his skivvies. <gasps> <gasps> Again, this is a million... <laughs> this is... This, this is supposed this to be a risky... Thanksgiving match. This is quite the risky smackdown, I must say. Maria, por qué? Por qué? It's like a telenovela now. <laughs> I guess the other... I uh, forget which one was... I can't remember which one's which now. I'll just say one of the Usos was actually the one of the one of, dressed as the gobbledygooker the whole time. Hey everybody, it's I'm the main event. <laughs> he, uh, and, he, uh, and now your feature presentation. Steven Tyler, uh, Steven Tyler, Tyler Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> just imagining Steven Tyler. Uh, uh, damn it, Tyler Breeze with like the big Steven Tyler. Lips. He hit him with the mic stand. He's <laughs> got all the. Flow shit on there, all the <laughs> canker tapes. <laughs> That's his thing, man. Uh, but he says that style wins over substance, and I'm looking to add another accessory: the Intercontinental Title. It's time to get gorgeous. One is a, one of his opponents gets interviewed by Renee Young, Dean Ambrose. She mentions uh, you may, may, may have been some bad luck on Sunday, and Ambrose is like, "What a week, right? I pinned Owens. Better man won against me." Seamus cashed in, right place, right time. None of that was luck. See, luck's winning the lottery. I haven't gotten a dollar mm -hmm. off them little scratch tickets. I'm out there tonight with Furry Boots Breeze in the show-off. I'm not a betting man, but if I was... And he leaves. Hey, we do have Tyler Breeze. Dolph Ziggler's there. <laughs> yep. It's a triple threat for the Intercontinental I mean, not Tyler, but Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Breeze. Uh, Tyler's Steven Tyler. They... He's still looking super 80s. Owens to oversee this triple threat number one contenders match because he's the champ. Ziggler in an earlier today said, uh, Owens feels like that title begins and ends with him, so I guess my four runs with that title never existed. Smarks is listening. Make of that also, what you will. I'll go out there like my career depends on it and make one hell of a first impression. As a referee? Uh, triple threat. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, oh, you didn't see because like there was no way for me, there was no way for me to watch SmackDown because like the network is like a week behind. Oh, did you do anything special That's... on Thanksgiving, by the way? Uh, family. Family just stuff. Okay, because I, uh, I went Jim away King. and I wasn't able to catch SmackDown. So I had to watch that again. So I had to watch that like. Well, yeah, I yeah. That's what. That's title. that's the only reason I missed SmackDown. Yeah. Fortunately, NXT was on. Is on yeah. demand. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, but for some reason, SmackDown and Raw aren't. Oh, actually, I can see why because you know, TV deals and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they gotta they gotta delay them. You might sometimes you might sometimes be able to catch them on YouTube if you're lucky. The SmackDown. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Which is how I used to. Like the highlights. Uh, which highlights. I used to watch before I get this brand new DVR and I can just tape it myself and watch it. Called. Something that would be funny too, because sometimes you get like double speed and like fast motion. And you get like, like oh, I'm Roman Reigns, believe in the shield. Ooh, wah! <laughs> I, I don't have the money to afford the DVR. I only have the money to afford. I barely have enough money to afford like the freaking El Rey network, which is the network that's gonna yeah. uh, have Lucha yeah, Underground. I need, to, I need to I need to look into see if I have that because I know I, I know I got Destination America. That's gonna be Ring of Honor. I need to see the. It's only it? on Time Warner Cable. Time Warner. It's only on Time Warner Cable. Uh, I think that might apply to me. I'll, t- I'll definitely look into you it. You know what? I will look it up right now while you are talking. Keep All right. talking. <laughs> well, I just got the main event now. Um, poor Breeze can't catch a break. The poor guy just gets sandwiched by double clotheslines like in stereo. Just Ziggler from one end, Ambrose from the other. <laughs> he does almost beat Ziggler though again, but then Ambrose like it. it Ambrose went like kind of like heelish. Like there's that one thing where like the guy hits his finisher and is about to win, but then the other guy comes in and on like. Hits his finisher off his hard work and pins the pins the guy and wins it. That's how Ambrose wins this match. Like Tyler Breeze has Ziggler out because he hits the, like he did he did like the setup for the beauty shot, but it looked it actually did look really amazing. Like he got all of Ziggler in that one. It was like boom. And so he's about to hit the unprettier on him, and then Ambrose comes in dirty deed. So Ambrose Owens two for the pay per view, and if it's as half as exciting as their first fight in the Survivor Series semis was, mm-hmm. this will be good. This will be really good. <laughs> This was leading up to it, it, it all, all the way back at Survivor Series, the it, the Intercontinental match. No, oh. I mean you could just tell it's like the the way it finished and now yeah. how it's gonna happen now. Also, um, Directv Dish Network Verizon. Uh, I am not seeing Time Warner though. <laughs> uh, oh boy, this is not good. Well, they said they were going to do it on their website, but it's going to be in, like, Spanish Oh, okay. I can deal with the website. I can deal with the website. That's how they it's their version it. of the network. Yeah, pretty much. Which, if worse comes to worse, I'll just watch it from there. Although, who do they... Uh, Except they it's not fucking... It, nine, nine, nine. I hate that song so much, but it's so catchy. The nine, nine, nine. Well, well, they don't play it anymore, do they? No. They'll still talk about it. They'll still do that thing at pay per views with coming up. I was like, yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean, like the song. The... No, I haven't <laughs> seen that. But again, they still they still push the nine ninety nine thing every time a pay per view comes in. It's like oh, big, big, oh, big time. I'm like, not everyone has the net, has opportunity to have the network. I actually mm-hmm. looked in, more into this. I'm like, because uh, I said like in a previous uh, when I used to do the solo, I was like, hey, you, mm-hmm. you know. I, if I have the network, it's been a year since you've done this now. Most people do have the network. Some people actually don't have that option. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't even have internet. <laughs> like, like the, I just remember them saying that, like, like, you didn't have it in India, like, all those times you were doing it before. And then all of a sudden, like, mm-hmm. I think it was, like, the last pay-per-view they just got out. It's like, oh, it's in India now. Hey. It's like UK didn't get it for the longest time. Yeah. <clears throat> they were, I remember them being super mad at that one. Well, they get that, like, there was a sign three, saying WWE, they're now delayed. <laughs> a sign back when the. Uh, the... I might have seen that at some point. <laughs> but yeah, um. Survivor Series was. All in all, pretty good. Not a. I wouldn't say terrible show. They mm-hmm. did some really, really good matches, like especially the semifinals. Those guys wrestled out there like their lives depended on it, man. It's because it was the because it was for the title. So it, it like mm-hmm. as good as good as those four guys were, like even better the hero. So it was like for a, for a pay per view that has been slapped together at literally the last minute because of an injury. Yeah, and considering the whole uh, scare that was going on as well, like. Uh, oh, the ISIS thing, too. yeah. Yeah, you got uh, didn't even got to take that into consideration too. So this was mm-hmm. maybe that's why the crowd like, was not like all, we was not we all didn't there, even all know the other things. Like they really uh, security for that. I don't know because I was like, yeah, that's actually kind of scary if you think yeah. about it. Because like, because <laughs> they already threatened um, DC. But that's another podcast. 
uh, for a political thing. <laughs> it's, it's, I only do political things on Twitter. <laughs> no. Talk about it that much. Yeah. Anyway, um. But, uh, did you have anything? To did do you that? already? Um. Oh, you said you honestly. That. Uh, it's on, like, like I said, the whole you thing's on YouTube. You know I think they did a tournament. It's, I think it's like a two-hour you know thing. For this podcast, I will go back to TNA <laughs> and see how much of a tra- I'll be like. And now your daily train, your weekly train wreck. Like I said, they're gonna. You told me they were gonna start over, basically, like kind of like WCW. Uh-huh. Did they mm-hmm. take? Did they get rid of all the titles or something? No, they get. They got the tournament. They gotta. I guess they gotta yeah. it with that. So they they're gonna go down. with like whoever's the winner of the tournament will go into the new new thing as the champion. The only thing of TNA I saw is um, Kurt Angle's fin- uh, on a he said like a retirement tour in the UK. That's the that's the, I think that's the only thing I had time to watch on uh, TNA for for things. You know Kurt Angle's done with wrestling. Yeah, he's stepping down. They they did a thing of that. Oh, no. no, I mean like wrestling, wrestling. Hmm. He's done with wrestling. Period. Yeah, yeah he's retiring. He's, he's he mentioned that like a uh, on a video. On uh, that's the only thing I saw from the TNA web uh, mm. YouTube. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah too many neck injuries, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I remember TNA doing an angle with Eric Young and him, and the very first thing, Kurt Angle's back, yay! Boom, Eric Young comes out, does a pile driver, legit. On him, and it's like, oh, don't do that. Oh no! <laughs> Multiple pile drivers. I might. I think there were like two or three. Yeah. And it was on like on the ring on like the entrance too. I haven't seen much of later Kurt Angle matches. It's just it's a testament to how. Look, and if you know Eric Young, he does legit now. pile drivers. He doesn't do like the Undertaker pile oh, yeah, drivers. He yeah. does legit the stingers, man. Shit. A easy way to get like down. you actually see them landing on their head. Yeah, there's a reason they don't really go for those anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, what? From what I saw, it's uh, it's obviously gonna be EC3. Oh, from what I've been seeing, oh, he's coming back with it. That's good. He, he gets the yeah. title back and heals it up again. Mm-hmm. Strong heal because actually I actually like it. He never lost it. He never lost it. That's right. I I do remember seeing that there was the. Was, what was it a triple threat or something like that? And he yeah, lost it. He pinned uh, yeah, Matt Hardy pinned someone else. Jeff Hardy was the Jeff Hardy and Drew Galloway, aka the chosen the one. The chosen one. I changed my ways, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never not be funny for me, <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. I'm mm. the chosen one. <laughs> I think. Now I'm in 3MB. <laughs> I'm just one man. And I'm in a band. You know, I was pissed off on Raw because, like, we were supposed to get uh, Heath Slater to sing. And then all of a sudden, Ryback, yeah. scumbag Ryback, comes out in his con beanie. <laughs> oh, Christ. And... It's so stupid. <laughs> and just It looks like the iciest the nipple ever. It's like, oh, I'm blue. A, we should call him Witch's Teat because he's, he's, he's like a blue nipple. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the Witch's Teat, right? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Freeze me more. More. <laughs> Nip Some up. Bre- we sh- <laughs> can we get a tag team with him and Tyler Breeze so we can be like, um, <laughs> breathe me more. Like oh Breeze wants goodness. anything with that ugly. Uh, also, I'm he's using that Bacha, too, <laughs> like, wow, Bachamania has that. some great gifts. Bachamania has some great gifts. Like this one. If it'll load. There we go. Okay. In Discord. Oh, okay. Uh... Muda. Oh no! <laughs> Will this work? Maybe because it exploded, it might slow down. But I'll see if I can. Yeah. 
that I'll end up. Wait, you you, you you legit pay money for XSplit? No, no, I got the free one. Oh, okay, I was about to it, say. It just updated, and now I can use it on YouTube. It just updated after for. Okay, I was about to say. My uh, I'm on a laptop. It can't use OBS. Like just even updating it, mm-hmm. refuses to run with it. It's mm-hmm. just some things won't work with it, which I I guess is a thing. Where did I have you? How many megabytes is this? Because I can make this into a GIF. This is a GIF I made myself, but I it's an MP4 format, so I don't know if it'll. Um. Oh, it'll definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So there we go. Did we cover NXT? <laughs> See that now, I think. Uh, delay. Oh, is it? Me, yeah, there we yeah, go. There we, YouTube's there we go. There good go. 30 seconds. There I'm sorry, nothing I can do there about that. You see it now? There we go. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. That's better than nothing. It is. It is. <laughs> can we get that as the as the Survivor Series champ match? <laughs> Freaking Dio and, and, um, Oh god, what was his name? The third one. It, it's been a while since I watched JoJo. Uh, ah, screw it. Anyway, I think I, I think that will do it for the podcast, though. Yeah. Did we already cover NXT? Uh, yes. Okay. So I, I managed to catch. How great that is it that we? How great is it that we did not get Eva Marie as? as women's champion oh it would have been bad but i liked how they did it though like i was going over it like he are like uh because he already yes. spoiled it last week but i like how they did it like oh she's got corporate in her back pocket like the fix is in for mm-hmm. bailey and then bailey just like rips her at right the fuck off <laughs> the top rope and just bailey in the belly but, I and, and, it put, and it makes way for nia Jax to do it now which is how they ended that so yes. like, okay good yes I do think that one day she will be able to be champion. Today is not that day. No, this was because was clear she, what they keep were doing in mind, because you got to keep in mind, almost every wrestler now is has had like training prior, as like even as a kid, she has had no training until coming to WWE, and look how much she's improved. So I just got to give her that. I can't just bag on her for the sake of bagging on her. Yeah. It's still a ways to go. Like, that's, not, that's, that's not fair, though, you know? Yeah. But you just kind of jumped in a little this, early where everyone this, else had like, the experience. It's going to take some time. But at the same time, she's not ready for a championship yet. No, not even close. No. The red hair, though, the red storm is rising. She managed, she managed to do a, a pretty good year, I think. Like, I, I, I don't know if it, there was, like, a... Like, I said, like, maybe she botched, like, a fast count. Like, she's arguing with Jennifer Thomas. She's like, one, two, one, two, three. I thought she... Maybe uh, maybe it might just be me just thinking, like, oh, she should have been, like, one, two, three. Like, cat, found, cat count faster. <laughs> like, did she botch that? What are you like, talking about? You can totally win in a two count. Look at Neville and on Raw. He won in to Mark Henry in a two count. Yeah, that was... Uh, he, like, just kicked out on three. And I'm like... Did did he get him? Like, uh, like okay, I guess so. Uh, Raw was weird, man. Like the it was weird. Was, so was, was so was Mark night. was Mark Raw or I mean, was was Mark face or heel in that match? Gal- I guess it's as good as anybody else. <laughs> Easy face. Easy face. Oh no my god! But he's fighting him. Look out! He is the world's strongest man. I hope they continue Speaking that. Like, it's just like, am I face or am I heel? <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Please don't go. Please don't go. Leave the memories. Leave sexual chocolate behind. <laughs> so Can Big E be the new sexual chocolate? <laughs> if the new day ever give her like a sinks, it's, even though it won't, but it's tantalized a tricep meat, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He already does like the motions of it. Oh my god, he would, he would be, that would be perfect. He'd be over like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, we been uh, surprisingly went through this quickly. But it says up here like an hour fifteen. I won't have to edit that. Yeah. Much this, but yeah. Um. 
Even if you're uh, mm, special thanks I to believe... Korak for coming out for us uh, live and kind of chatting with us for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't do it because I had like the what you call it up at the. I have to find of a way. Maybe I can pop out the chat later on. This was kind of a, a test thing to see how it goes. I just did this to be like, cut out the middleman, like I said, because mm-hmm. uh, Camtasia tends to crash on me and I have to restart my entire computer to, mm-hmm. when I edit this out. So, and as long I as think I, can... I have a Sony Vegas thing lying around, extra copy of Sony Vegas lying around if you want it. Mm-hmm. Maybe when I get the new computer, I can look into it because I'm supposed to be getting into that this laptop's right. been around for a while but yeah that was the podcast we thank you for being here and otherwise mm-hmm. you'd probably listen to this later on but take care even though it was technically a solo podcast for the most of it <laughs> i had uh well he covered one thing and then the other because he had like bad like really bad reception or something like that mm. like, I, it might be my microphone or his or my combination of my mic and his speakers mm. all right that's right. do for us. This is care. This, you got a this nacho? has been the podcast. Has been the podcast. Uh, nacho.